Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more Stellaris. So, we'll unpause time. We're fast, and we're going to move up to fastest, actually. We're in a period of relative quiet. We're just waiting for stuff to finish, uh, waiting for time to pass, and looking to debris expand. Analyzed. Also, analyzing lots of debris. So, you have now finished all your orders there, so all that stuff is done. Now, all the debris from the war with the Gluon Empire is what we want to work on next. We should still have plenty of time for this. Let's see. Some of it is actually going to end pretty quickly. Uh, Yarrick first. Okay. Are we hitting Yarrick first? No, we're hitting Yarrick second. That'll be okay. I'm not too worried about missing it. We've still got a thousand days. You're finishing surveying these systems down here. I'm going to divert you up to this way because there's a continental world I might be interested in taking as my colony. If not, we will have the opportunity of taking one of the ones over here. Uh, two tropical worlds, a size 24 tropical world. Quite interesting. Also a size 18 down here. Oh, but that's apparently inhabited already? Who's in Kildaffa? Oh, there are Stone Age primitives there, so I can't have that one. Okay, so it's going to be either Roskun or Riador we colonize next. Let's see. It's going to depend a little bit on if there's anything good in Riador. Congo finished its surface construction queue. That's fine. We queued up lots of stuff for these planets. Congo should be well ahead of the curve, yeah. I mean, they don't have anywhere near enough population to actually work any of this yet. And they've got four food coming in. How's my spaceport doing? They've got the hydroponics farms there. Uh, we could upgrade this to level 2. Yeah, let's do that. We've got plenty of minerals at the moment. Uh, Hope doesn't actually have one at the moment. How much do these cost us? I think it'll be one... Yeah, we can afford it. Let's build another spaceport over there. Everyone gets a spaceport. Construction complete. Okay, we have a new colony ship hanging around, costing us money. Okay, there's two engineering research there. I would just like to see if there's anything else. If there's energy there, we'll definitely take it. It is size 17 and 80% habitability. I mean, it's got very close for size 24, 60%. Or, I'll tell you what, we just colonize both. I mean, what's really the big deal here? Oh, there's a primitive civilization there. Oh well, they're going to have some um, some neighbors soon. Okay, lots of tile blockers, but we can handle those. Where do we want to put our base? Preferably somewhere I can get food adjacency bonuses, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think I might put it here. We can get rid of that guy pretty quickly. So I have bonuses on the energy and the minerals. Turn that into food. Yeah, you can do that. And Earth, our spaceport, will start building us another colony ship. Trade deal duration expired. Our trade treaty with the Tajel Interclan Confederation has timed out. What was the trade deal? What were we trading with them? Was that our... Uh, that could have been, actually... <coughs> Ah, I think that was our research agreement. So let's see if they want another research agreement, because it does benefit us quite a lot. In fact, that wow, that benefits us loads. Six physics, eight society, and four engineering. We're giving them way less. Well, not way less. Six, nine, one. But still, we will we'll gain a lot from that. We've got plenty of minerals, so if we give them an instant transfer... There we go. Send that off. And actually, let's look at our... Can we... Would our vassals do one as well? I wonder. For trade deal... Research agreement. Yeah, they'll just do it straight up. Again, that benefits them way more than us. But still a nice bonus, and it's going to cost me nothing, really. And they're actually happier with it the longer I go. I mean, we're going to have them integrated within 20 years, I hope. So we'll send that off. What about the Clearing Empire? They don't like us, but they're our vassals. Can they actually say no to this? Yes, apparently they can. 
Oh, because they're disloyal. Okay. Well, screw you guys. No technology for you. They have accepted that. And they have accepted that. Okay, so we've got a boost to our research now. Construction complete. And one of our governors leveled up and gained a trait. Governor Ricardo Rodriguez has leveled up and gained the trait of archi architectural interest. What does that do for you? Out of interest. Just one of those things I like to know. What does architectural interest actually give you? Uh, leaders Rodriguez. Building cost minus 20% and construction time minus 20%. That's pretty good actually. Are we building anything on Akatuxi at the moment to take advantage of that? No, in fact you're pretty much maxed out on growth. Just building a few things. We can upgrade a few more though. How are we doing? We've got decent income at the moment. Let's upgrade this to a planetary capital. It cost us 80 influence and 400 minerals, but we can afford that. We will upgrade the basic science lab to a physics lab. And that power plant can become a power plant too. So that was all a little bit cheaper now, because he's so good at archaeology. And we analysed the debris in Maradgis and learnt nothing. Okay, that's not too unsurprising actually. Well, it's not, sorry, too unsurprising? That's not words. Too, it's not too surprising. We were ahead of the Glirans in a lot of respects, but we might be able to pick up some stuff there. We'll have to see what we get. Construction complete. Congo has finished construction of its spaceport. So they've now upgraded. Again, we could give them Corvette assembly yards, but I don't want to do that just yet. What we're still holding out for are solar arrays. We don't have solar arrays for our spaceport yet, which is quite an early technology. Okay, we're working on the debris in Yarrick. How are you doing with that? System survey Almost complete. Done. Debris analyzed. There we go. Ooh, research for plasma throwers. Excellent. And 15 physics research points. That's not bad. I'm okay with that. Queue all of these up. Okay. Riador. Not a great system, I'll be honest. But... Yeah, I think we'll take it. We want that world. And we will start surveying all these ones around it as well if we're going to be colonizing up in this direction. Our colony ship has arrived down here in Roskun, so the new colony world of Zanzibar is starting to develop. And we'll probably have to make these two into a sector. I think we'll make fact into a sector first. So hope which will have its own orbital station. Will become a new colony, well, a uh, new sector for us. There we go, done. Give you orbital hydroponics farms. And we'll upgrade you to level two, just so that's done for you. Right, the surface of this world. You're doing okay. Might just be worthwhile clearing, clearing a few tiles for you and then we can just let you go on your merry way. Because otherwise we'll take a penalty for being over the number of control planets. Again, that's something I wouldn't mind increasing through some research. We've got five months on basic combat rolls, seven months on regenerative hull tissue, and unfortunately our engineering research is being slowed down a lot because I'm doing all these research projects, all the debris analysis. In fact, that's so close to finishing. Damn, I should have actually just let that finish. Oh well. Oh. Construction complete. Oh dear. President Roberto Solano has died at the age of 87. Wow, that's the second character we've lost in this playthrough. Uh, we are going to have a new president now. For once, it's not going to be Roberto Solano. So do we care about any of these candidates? And there are a lot of candidates. Uh, looks like we actually have a few faction members as well. Loyalist Lobby. Loyalist Lobby. Loyalist Fringe. Okay, I don't know what that means. Let's have a look at the Empire. Factions. No actual factions yet. But there are there are people who aren't part of the Loyalist faction, but they haven't formed their own faction yet by the looks of it. 
So I don't know what the Loyalist Fringe is going to... how different that's going to be. And that's Elsa Kruger, one of our scientists. How old are you? You are 87. We would probably want someone who's a bit younger, I think. Although she does have the resilient trait, so plus 25 years. And she's also a space miner, so constructor build cost and mining station build cost is reduced, which I do like. Antonia Gomez would give us ship cost minus 15% and army cost minus 20%. Plus space core module build cost and module cost minus 20%. And that's not bad. How old are you? 66. I mean... I think we're going to be heading into a few more wars. We've definitely got some highly xenophobic aliens around. And uh, it's not inconceivable we would end up in another fight shooting war. So that wouldn't hurt. They've all got the orbital research mandate, which is kind of boring. Oh, some of them don't. Some of them do have off-world miner. Uh, we might be able to manage that. Extra monthly influence would be nice. I don't know. We'll um, we're gonna see. Let's leave that open for now. See what else pops up. Oh, do we have another colony ship? We do. Okay. Right, colony ship can head out to Riador 3. And you can colonise that world for me. Uh, we'll pop you directly there in the middle. So I wonder who's going to ring, because they're all tied currently. Construction complete. Construction on Albion has finished. That's fine. I don't want to waste influence, but... Analyzed. I mean, okay, complete. let's have a look. Does it really matter who actually is going to lead us at the moment? The war stuff would be nice, but it's not crucial. Space Miner would be handy, but you're very old. I mean, our Admiral could take over. What would a researcher mandate? I don't think I actually care enough to actually put influence on it this time. Getting Roberto Solano elected that first time was really useful, but he might have won it anyway. Okay, we have had finished the advanced spaceport. Ah, all it needed was us to, just to let it finish that last two points. If I'd realised that, that would have been great. So we can now build level 4 spaceports, which we're going to do on Earth straight away. Also increases our mineral storage capacity by 2,000. So we can store up to 12,000 minerals. If we were anywhere near that limit, I'd be so amazed of us. Okay, we're not researching anything at the moment, which I... I suppose there's no harm in actually setting research now. I was going to say we should just leave it, because the scientist is going to be busy working on the debris, but clearly there's a small amount of time between those two things happening. Okay, what can we do? Ceramo Metal Armor, Defense Stations, or Cruisers? Interesting. I mean, unlocking another tier of warship would be interesting. The cruiser is the first free section design, allowing for a wide range of module configurations for those willing to pay the price. That is tempting. Would take us quite a long time, though. Or we could just get the metal armor out of the way now. We are probably behind on armor tech because we're not using it, we've been focusing on shields. And if we go up against someone who has shield penetrating weapons, armor would be very handy. Yeah, we'll do that. It's only 17 months, so that's pretty quick. Uh, more plasma throw and physics research points. That's fine. Situation log updated. Okay. Ah, Elsa Kruger has been elected as president of the United Nations of Earth, uh, which means that you, you are no longer our society researcher, which is a shame. But I kind of knew that was going to happen. Uh, we actually need to assign a new scientist then. So no one is available currently. No. Let's have a look. Who do we want to recruit? We have a very young Renata Salazar, who's good at particle research. We have a 43-year-old Spark of Genius, or a 52-year-old Resilient. It's going to be the Spark of Genius. Uh, something like Expertise is only applicable to one discipline. Spark of Genius is applicable to every discipline, so they will always be 10% better at stuff. So, thank you very much. Go, go work on that for me. In fact, you're working at it even faster. That's amazing. Uh, we might want to put him on a science ship for a while, just so that they can 
continue uh, to complete. level up faster. Construction complete. Okay, specialised combat computers are now done. Uh, let's see, we could unlock assist research, but we're nowhere near needing that. That's something we can do with our science ships when we don't have anything else for them to do. Uh, but there's still a lot of the galaxy to explore. We have got a lot of research into mining drone lasers, and those, I believe, are good at... Yeah, 100% arm penetration, so that would be handy. Uh, disruptors, 100% shield damage. We're currently using lasers, which do already penetrate armor. So if we had some weapons that just penetrated shields as well, that would give us lots of flexibility. That's what I'm thinking. That's going to take 64 months. Damn. Construction complete. Colony established. Okay, we have too many planets. Hope has finished its service construction queue. New Coventry has finished its construction queue. Did I build a spaceport down there? New Coventry, what was I? What were you building? Why are there ships here? Oh, there's a construction ship in orbit. Okay, that's fine. I don't remember building you. Maybe... Oh, actually... Did I build one for you guys? I don't remember that. I have a feeling the sector just built themselves a spaceport. Which is kind of interesting. Well, in that case, I'll pay for your uh, hydroponic farms. How's your surface doing? I don't think I can actually build stuff for you still. Yeah, I cannot manage this. So they're kind of on their own. I can give them robots. Although they don't really have anywhere that we'd want to put a robot. Can I? Yeah, I can't really adjust anything on there, unfortunately. Yeah, that's what comes of having sectors. It is nice that they manage themselves and that they've built their own spaceport. Pretty cool. Well done, guys. Good job. So, we now have too many worlds, which means we're going to need a new sector. And this might actually be our last sector for a while. I think we're going to turn fact into a sector. So, have we done everything we wanted to do for you? You are currently upgrading your spaceport, that's fine. You've got plenty of minerals and food available. I think actually we're going to convert that one to a mine so you have some minerals coming in. Because otherwise they are going to be short on minerals. And we might actually even do that there. How much are they coming in? Nine. Yeah, they're going to be okay for food for a while. So we'll turn some of those tiles into basic mines to take advantage of that. And other than that, I think they're going to be okay on their own for a while. So, fact, will now become a brand new sector. Uh, I can't... No, no, I don't want to do it that way. I have to go into here. Create a new sector. This will put us up to our sector limit, so we've got to be a little careful. There we go. And we'll give you Gingius as well. We, we're not actually using those four minerals, but I can build on them quite happily, I think. That'll be okay. There we go. One new sector. So, our new world of Zanzibar. Okay. You're building a population there, which is that's actually pretty acceptable. Not much food on this world. We're actually going to have to... Yeah, we'll have to build hydroponics farm there to get get rid of that mineral. But that's okay. Minerals are fine. 125 a month. I'm not worried about that. Uh, we'll also build another farm there. And ideally that would be a robot. There we go. That will tide you over for the, for the time being. We will have another colony coming up here. So we're going to have a choice actually. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? We will have too many colony worlds, and I can't link these two together yet. We might have to just suffer the limit for a little while. Debris analyzed. Okay, more physics and plasma for our research. That's good. Okay, Riador has been settled. And we have been insulted by our vassals, the Glyran Empire. I'm not even sure how they're allowed to do that. You're my vassals, guys. I beat you. Suck it up. I think they'll be okay eventually. When can we actually integrate you guys? Have to have been a subject for 3,600 days. So we need to wait until the 23rd of the 12th, 2251. 
That's still quite a while away, seven years. Ooh, we actually System are running out of time for some of these anal analysis projects. Are we doing all the ones in Glear? Yeah, we are. We are already doing those ones. Okay. Debris analyzed. Ooh, that's quite a lot. Plasma throwers plus ten percent, auto cannons plus ten percent, physics fifteen points, and ten engineering points. Mm -hmm. That's good. And physics research there, which would be handy, I'll admit, if it was within our borders. But unfortunately, it is not. Alliance invitation. I don't think this is an invitation for me. The Commonwealth of Caribon has joined the Propitious Pact. Tumbator Commonwealth. Okay. A military junta joining with a theocratic oligarchy. That doesn't make me happy. So is that the first other alliance we've seen? Yeah, okay. Wow, that's actually an alliance of people who do not like me. So the Thumbators and the Commonwealth of Caravan. So these guys here, and these guys all the way up here. We didn't even know about these guys. How do they not like me? Because we've never met. Okay, apparently they just don't like us. They have xenophobia, which is never a good sign. And we're allies, we're rivals with their allies. Okay. However, their fleet power is pathetic, their naval capacity is inferior, their technology is okay. Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about them just yet. I thought we were being invited to an alliance, so I was, gonna, I was quite surprised, because we're in an alliance. Construction complete. Construction complete. Okay. Lots of projects finishing everywhere. That's gonna be very, very handy debris for us. Analyzed. Uh, didn't get anything for that debris analysis. Interesting. How many are left? Three. We're running out of days. We might not actually get all of these done. Although I think once you've started it, the timer stops. Because there's three debris complete. still remaining, but only two of them are actually showing System here. System survey complete. Okay, that's fine. Zanzibar's building stuff. That's good. In fact, did Zanderbot already build everything? Wow, they've even got... Oh no, they're still building the robot. Okay. I was confused there for a moment. Uh, we'll also clear that tile off now. How are you doing? Almost finished. Debris analyzed. Okay, we. I think we've got time to start this one. We're going we're gonna to lose one, unfortunately. Oh well, maybe I should have put two science ships on it, but I didn't want to stop exploring entirely just for that. Okay, there we go. So, that was again a very laid back, quiet episode. Some more gradual exploration and advancement of the United Nations of Earth. But no massive combat. We haven't actually fought anyone since the end of the war. Which is probably good. We're in a time of peace. We need to, to secure our new holdings and then work towards integrating them as swiftly as we can. Anyway. I'm going to take a break here, so thank you guys for watching, hope you are enjoying this, and do feel free to leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you later for the next one. Bye!